Hello, internet. So, very big day today. That behind me is a map of Wembley Stadium, which is not really relevant because I saw Mews there in 2011, but today, today I'm going to Manchester, up, up north, to see Mews in a tiny little gig venue. And I thought, hey, vlogging, that's a thing. So, little train journey, it's currently, I don't have a watch, nine something. Let's vlog the journey, let's see what happens. Looking forward to it. Manchester, here we come, gig of our lives. See you then. I feel at this point I should actually talk a bit about Muse and the album, since I'm going to see them. I'm also aware that I've been using a selfie camera, which probably means the quality is terrible. But no Muse, right, favourite band as you can tell from everything around here, what have I got? Original print and everything. So, get that right. Basically, uh, they announced, I think it was, a couple of Mondays ago, just randomly off the fly, that for their new album, Drones, they're gonna have this massive tour of tiny little university venues. And I thought, hey, I have a degree that I need to avoid. I have six essays to do over the spring holiday. I've got five weeks off. Had one already, not done any work. So I thought, hey, what better use of my time than spending 40 pounds plus 20 pounds train ticket on a ticket to see me and then the train obviously um, to go see the best man ever at this tiny little university venue which just happens to be right down the road from where my friends live so it's going to be a good one an early indication psycho massive tune um, riff from 1999 I was listening to the um, performance at the MCM cafe where apparently there was 500 people trying to get in from outside that was a crazy gig from what it looks like in Paris um, but yeah I'm so excited it's like a completely new direction or an old direction for me depending on how you look at it um, and this gig is probably going to be insane because they played Muscle Museum for the first time in like a decade at the last one. I'm begging for Newborn. I've seen Muse at the Rico Arena and at Wembley Stadium in 2011 and I've still not seen Newborn. So that's what I'm praying for here. I, I really hope. Please. Please Muse. So this is YouTube. So time for a brief critique of what my fashion choices are because I don't know. Zoella. I could do Zoella. Um, and a reason to film in portrait. I do apologise. It's only horrible. But it serves a purpose because... Yeah, I've actually recently been on a bit of a Joy Division hype. And whilst it is convenient that the gig is in Manchester um, for that reason, I obviously am going to see Muse, but there is something that kind of appeals to me about the idea of maybe walking down the streets from some industrialised old cities in Manchester, towns I should say, looking a bit like scenes from Control, a la Ian Curtis's life, in a trench coat. I have no problems with my identity whatsoever. Um, don't worry me with me about that. Um, collar up. Perfectly normal, so I think it's time to go now, for God's sake, go. Currently a sign of uh, Birmingham's wonderful culture. Someone playing accordion. It's all good. Now approaching Birmingham's biggest space station. Construction site. It's good. Mirror. The slowest escalators ever. I don't even know if I'm on the right platform. <clears throat> Transport boys. Board, 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 board. Waiting for a train. I think this is the crazy quiet part of the platform where people who are either talking on their phones or pretending to FaceTime like me awkwardly just talk. So this is New Street Station. I would have shown you the actual um, inside of it but there were some policemen who would probably have shot me if I tried. So basically, 
would have gone and looked up at the big reflective uh, side of the ball ring. Probably a big enough mirror for my ego. Waiting to make that joke, not so good. So basically now just waiting about 40 minutes for a train. Kind of empathising with every commuter ever right now. It'll be worth it for me and people thinking that I'm crazy right now. I should probably go drink, energy drink, summit. More updates. I bought a chocolate bar. Star bar. Probably the most muesy one I could find. Um, actually, about 20 minutes from my train now, so I'm not waiting for too long. I need to FaceTime again on the platform. I'm not weird, I promise. Bit of a weird standoff going on because it's a Sunday and New Street is packed. Bit of a conglomeration of like fans of cosplay here for Comic Con. People dressed in cosplay. And then football fans. And there's sort of me in the middle, like, this is going to kick off at some point. Yeah, everyone's quite harmonious at the moment. No, no deaths to report yet. And yeah, waiting for a train. All exciting. Manchester, here we go. Charming. So now we're in Warrington, which, well, I'll tell you what, first of all, news, Museum Street, yeah, it's easy. Um, I probably haven't got time to film, I should be running to a station or something. But you know, I reckon we're far enough north now for me to kind of pick up on a certain other vibe I've got going on here, you know? Just walk around, see if anyone thinks that I'm the lead singer of a popular band in the 1980s. It's time to cue the music. She's lost control again. I got hopelessly lost, I think, but there's the station. So I think I got a bit distracted by the Muse road sign. I'm here now though, just listening to like Joy Division having a identity crisis again. Anyway, Manchester Woods. So, so now I'm in a pub in Manchester because the most shocking part with, with Chris, hi Chris, my friend, who lives in Manchester, the biggest shocking part of this vlog is I actually have friends, I'm not sad, I'm not on my own, waiting for Muse to play. So we're just going to hang out in a pub, um, maybe recreate the scene from Control sometime, yeah Chris? <laughs> you know the scene with the, with the, the coat and the hate and you're, you're yeah, for that, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
on yeah. a scale of 1 to 10, how sad am I? Right now. I'm going to go with 7.5. 7. Minus 5. 3. So, minus 3 and 7.5. So yes, watch this space. Together, you get 15. <laughs> Muse footage, maybe. Project. And Matt Bellamy interviews to follow. Course. Cheers, guys. No, I'm just going to say, though, post-gig drinks is like the worst idea ever. Pre-gig cocktails. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so this is the next tower. Should be fun. Here we fucking go. So getting in here is basically harder than getting in Fort Knox, as you have to go through my ID like twice. Q pretty much bringing Manchester to Sandstill and some other gig that was attended mainly by teenage girls, but no, this is the setup. And I for one am fucking excited. I guess about being on my own. Music coming up maybe. Please don't sue me Warner. Speechless. Best gig of my life. Best ever. Signing off.